Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Line Care of Life. Today, I want to show you uh, how to use a string trimmer. And you know, I always thought when you were mowing grass, you know, anybody can use an edger or a blower. I mean, those are basically the, the elementary skills in mowing a lawn. But when it comes to uh, riding a mower, there's, there's a skill level there. And then I always thought you could really uh, make up some time using your string trimmer. Now you know how it is if you've got people working with you, if you find somebody that's good with a string trimmer, uh, they're definitely worth some extra money because it, you know, not only being fast, but having quality work at the same time. Well, there's a number of skills that, that you need to, to be good with a string trimmer. Today, I don't know if, you, if you see the hillside beside uh, behind me, I'm gonna go after that hillside. And that's one of the things when you're doing a, a large, area like that is is being able to uh, one of the skills i was talking about you know i like somebody that can edge with one of these or you know whatever you need to do but uh, the other skill is being able to handle a large area in a quick amount of time so i'm going to go after that hill one is to show you that and then two uh you know it'd be a good test for this trimmer this is a husqvarna 525 ls it's the one that i use now this one's got paint on it doesn't have the original cap i mean it's got some you know, I've used it a lot, but it's running great. And so I'm gonna put it to the test on some overgrown grass on that hillside. Now, another obstacle, there's a little poison ivy in there. So I'll have to deal with that and we'll see how that works out. One thing I got to figure out, and I'd love to hear your suggestions if you have some ideas, but what to do with that hillside. I don't want to keep having to, to, you know, trim it with my string trimmer. I don't, but I don't want to plant juniper or something like that on there. I don't know. I, I'm. I've got uh, one idea on how to keep it controlled. I don't want to just spray the whole thing and kill it. I want to maybe get some grass to grow in there and then I could maybe use some uh, growth regulator or something to keep it from growing as fast. But if you got some other ideas on what I could do with that hillside, I'd love to hear from you. Let's get started. I, like the, uh, I use the Speed Feed Heads. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check those out. I use the smaller ones, these bigger ones, smaller ones. Smaller and just spins faster. I just I like that. I feel like it gives you more power, even though it doesn't hold as much line.
I'm done. I don't want to do that too much. I want to do something else with this hillside. But so let me hear your ideas. Weed eater, <coughs> this string trimmer performs pretty good. Uh, you know, when you cover large areas, what I do, I just keep it to the, you know, keep the throttle all the way down. I'm kind of making wider strokes than I normally would if I was out, you know, just trimming somebody's yard. Actually, you know, you know, I think threw me off on this hillside when I first moved in this house back in the fall the city had like a, a tractor come through here with a bush hog that had a an angled bush hog on it and it came through here and cut this hillside and the top and everything well i ain't seen them in six months so or about six months so you know i guess that's just a, a once in a blue moon kind of thing got my glasses got earplugs in not because I, i'm yeah I'm trying to protect my long term here but also in the short term i just don't like loud noises so and the hat, it's not necessarily a fashion statement. It's, it's more just to keep the sun off on myself. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Creel. Let me hear from you in the comments. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let me know what you thought about the video. Talk to you later. Bye.